Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. I was hoping you'd come around the campfire. You're looking well. I feel better than I have in a long time. Keep it up. Yes, yeah, sounds good, Arthur. Arthur. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I, I have you as a friend. Hey. Morning, Arthur. Hello. That's it. I can use the company. Any news? Nothing you don't already know. It's time for Strauss to go. Sure, I won't miss him. There's a few others should go, too. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. friend never better Dutch you're breaking his heart you know that did he tell you to say this to me friend no <laughs> but I know Dutch and that fool at his ear they're gonna kill every last one of us I see that now Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. I did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Well, I should get back to it. Yes, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Well, I'm surprised you're still around. I'm worried about you all. Morning, Arthur. You all right? Are you all right? Strauss is gone. It was time. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Every morning, I wish I wasn't in this place.
Mr. Trelawney? Hello. How you doing there? What has happened to you lot? At each other's throats? It's been a rough couple of months. How far we've fallen. It's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now if... if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something... true, something... real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He, he wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? Kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But... I I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just... Keep your eyes peeled. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... 
What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure, I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes, at least. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source, it's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that. One can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No, we're done for now. Wolves, stay back! It's just... Found the dead rabbit. Oh, thank God. You see, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Well, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to, like, privilege and indolence in the big city. Are you coming? Come on, it, it's just up this way. I don't know about that. It sounds off. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, ma'am. 